Hi guys, in today's video I will tell you about the Flare Corona Discharge. I will tell you what it is, how to produce it and about its uh, quite peculiar properties. But first of all, I'd like to notify you that uh, I'm going back to university because the summer is over and I won't be able to post my videos so frequently. So, uh, I will post uh, probably once a month or something like that but uh, not on a regular schedule. So, yeah, just for you to know. And now to the topic of the video. So-called flare corona discharge is a special type of corona discharge that happens at a very narrow part of uh, corona discharge current voltage curve. It is a transient stage between streamer corona and a spark discharge. For a reason I'll tell you later, you actually have seen this discharge in my videos numerous times. Uh, you might remember it like the streamer corona, the small branch at the needle, extends to the whole air gap, so the ionization happens in the whole air gap, but uh, it happens just before the spark occurs. So yeah, it is a very narrow part of the current voltage curve. And uh, now let's observe it, so you can see clearly what I mean. For the corona discharge is a very faint type of discharge, I have to use all the light I can capture. So now I'm using a 1.8 aperture lens on my camera and ISO of 1600. And yeah, you can now see a 15 cm needle plane, positive needle grounded plane spark gap. And I'm raising the voltage. Now we have the voltage. We're waiting for the streamer corona, yeah. Now we have streamer corona. But uh, you see we can't quite get the streamer corona. We can now only get flare discharge. So you see, it extends to the whole air gap. I'm raising the voltage even further. It starts to stabilize. And we're close to a breakdown. Yeah, that was a breakdown. So you see, it exists in uh, not very uh, big range of voltages. And probably we can go to streamer corona now. No, we can't. And the reason is that my needle is very sharp. Actually, the radius of its curvature is uh, 10 micrometers, which is very small. And this actually is one of the ways to stabilize the flare discharge. But you can see it. Uh, it works, but to some extent, of course. But now you may ask how to stabilize this discharge even further. And the answer is to add a ignition spark gap. The ignition spark gap is nothing more than a regular spark gap that is added in series to the main spark gap. But uh, more specifically in series with uh, this grounded plane and the actual ground, so it won't be grounded anymore. Uh, I have here a small spark gap, homemade spark gap. It consists of uh, cap nuts on the bolts and I can yeah, probably focus this somewhere here. Yeah, I can turn it and I can vary the distance of this spark gap. In my case it uh, works uh, on like uh, 0.8 cm or close to that, so it's like 25 kV breakdown voltage for this spark gap and it helps to stabilize the flare discharge very much and the reason is that it creates a small probably like 100 nanosecond pulses if I connect it in series with um, this spark gap yeah it's very easy in series yeah now what will happen is uh, the corona will occur small corona the charge ions will fly to this plate and the plate will get charged because it's not grounded. But when it gets to the breakdown voltage of this spark gap, the spark gap will break down, the voltage of the grounded plane becomes uh, zero and it creates a big gradient of electric field in time. So we get big over voltage on this spark gap. But our additional spark gap cannot uh, conduct uh, for a long time because we don't have much capacity capacitance on this plate so the conductivity of additional spark gap quickly fades away 
and uh, what we get in the end is a short nanosecond pulses like 100 nanoseconds uh, and the electric field in this spark gap pulses with a short 100 nanosecond pulses and what it gets us is known as pulsed periodic corona the corona that consists mainly of streamers and these streamers grow to the whole spark gap and now we will observe it I'm raising the voltage you can hear the additional spark gap starts to fire yeah, and now you can see the third discharge I probably have uh, too much of a spark gap distance so we had a big breakdown now I will reduce the spark gap distance yes, let's see what happens yes, not bad but not quite stable but you get the idea and now I will show you the main advantage of the flare corona discharge. Uh, its uh, main use in industry is uh, large industrial ozone generators because corona discharge generates a lot of ozone and in fact the bigger the volume of the discharge is the bigger the yield of the ozone is. And uh, here you can see quite unusual spark gap. I have a hexo blade that is mounted to the neodymium magnet, that is mounted to my needle. Uh, the length of the gap is uh, approximately 10 cm. And now I don't have ignition spark gap installed. I have just direct uh, current, direct voltage. And let's see what happens if I raise the voltage. We see some corona. I'm raising the voltage. The corona starts to extend. And we get breakdowns. The corona extended, but it wasn't very volumetric, if I say so. Now let's add a spark gap and see what happens. 0.8 centimeters, as I said. Yeah, the spark gap starts to fire. Look at this. This is just crazy. But the corona is very intense, very bright. I probably may vary a spark gap a little bit for the better performance. Yeah, and this discharge generates a lot of ozone. Hmm, I noticed that quite a lot of light was actually escaping from my curtain and uh, getting into the background. So now let's see the discharge again in a better darkness. Now you see how dangerous this beast actually is. And last but not least. In industry it is pretty inconvenient to use blades, you have to get them somewhere or you have to make them, but what you can use is just a bare wire. I have here a wire plane spark gap 
This is a bare, very thin copper wire. And let's see what happens when I apply the voltage to it. So you see it works just like a blade, if not better. Lots of ozone, lots of dangerous, very dangerous ozone. I probably should open the window now. But uh, yeah, and in industry, again in industry, you can, you can uh, make this wire a zigzag, you can make this wire any shape you want and you will get this much volume of a corona. Basically the length of the wire times the distance of the gap times uh, I don't know like two centimeters the width of the flare discharge so yeah this is uh, pretty crazy stuff in my opinion very powerful very ozone generative discharge and I guess that's all for today thanks for watching see you next time